All right, guys, it's round two with the Vogue Beauty Secrets with your girl, Ashley Graham. And this is your special baby edition. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to start off with some eye patches because most pregnant women in their third, third trimester don't sleep. And um, I'm one of them. <laughs> so I can use all the help under my eyes that I can get. If I'm going to an event or if I'm going out and I've got a meeting, I'm putting on the eye mask and I'm not gonna look tired. Now, next thing, because you guys know that beauty is from the inside out. Iron is very important for pregnant women. Very important. I don't wanna take the pills. I don't wanna take prescriptions. So I take the tea. I use two tea bags. But we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is your feet, because you may not have time to go get a pedicure. So this is what I like to use. They're from Sephora. I use them all the time. I use them for really even big events. Um, I'm just gonna go back here and put it on. Okay, so I'll have let this sit for a little bit. Maybe I have brushed my teeth or whatever, but since I'm here with you all, we're gonna get this party started. The things that I've noticed that have been happening with my skin a little bit is that I'm a little bit drier and I feel like I'm more susceptible to breakouts. So what I like to do is make sure that I'm hydrating 100% and then I'm using um, vitamin C serum. So my absolute favorite serum is Skin SkinCeuticals. This is like a tried and true tried and true. So many people use it. I didn't know about it until this year. I'm going to be honest. And you just take a couple of drops of this. Bleep, bleep, bleep. You really don't need too much. A lot of people actually, before they go to the pool, like to put this um, on and then their sunscreen. And it, I heard that it like enhances your sunscreen. So then I've got this new thing. It's, it's a face mask and um, I, do the unspeakable and wear it throughout the day because it's super hydrating. You really only need a little bit. You just rub this sucker in. It kind of turns a little bit white. You do it on your neck. The neck is important. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna let this sit in and I'm gonna roll. You know, you see all these people rolling all the time. You wonder why they're rolling. Sometimes I wonder why I'm rolling too, but I know it's for the contour. It's for the depuffing. And when you're pregnant, you get puffy. So I've been doing a lot of lymphatic massages and it's really been helpful for my wrists, my ankles, um, my jawline. I've been really actually trying to do the lymphatic massages at least once a week and acupuncture. I think that both are really helping my body stay mobile, my mind right, and, um, and my skin. Nice and tight. To add another layer of, of moisture because I'm crazy and I'm obsessed with moisturizer, I do the SkinCeuticals moisturizer. And I just take a little bit and I just kind of dab it all over. I have to say like I haven't really changed my routine since I've become pregnant. I've just taken things out. There's certain serums I was using at night that I think had too many chemicals for the baby and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't ODing and I don't, you know, sometimes when you feel a tingle on your skin, you're like, ooh, it's working. But when you're pregnant and you feel a tingle on your skin, you're like, oh, it's going to my baby. So there's some things that I've taken out and now I've just really tried to stay as natural as possible. So my doula has this amazing product called Mama Glow and um, it's, it's Good Medicine Beauty Lab. She's got these great serums for all over your body, all over your belly. I clearly use it all the time. <laughs> um, and this one I like because it comes out really hard, but I'm just gonna remove this. Um, but you, moist, you, you, you just do this and it gets really goopy. And then you put it everywhere. Now, there is a stretch mark right here. She's a tried and true. She's coming in strong. And I have accepted her, but I see her. 
So after you put on the, the serum on your belly, there's also this um, amazing blushing body cream. And although I may not go over my belly again with this, I'll hit every other body part that I know could create stretch marks. So it'll be my ass, it'll be my back, it'll be my arms, it'll be my breasts. And I go in and I am fully hydrated and I try to do this two to three times a day. It's a commitment, but are you committed to having supple skin? These are my favorite, these are doctor approved, and I have a couple of these a day. Three, mm, they're so good. They taste so good. I love gummies. Every mom I talk to says the more you work out, the easier it is for delivery, and I've been really excited about that. Um, my cravings have been really bizarre as far as like, I haven't wanted junk food. I've just wanted cucumbers and celery and salads from sweet green, only sweet green. I have no idea why. I'm really into like homemade dishes. So my husband's been cooking for me every night. Thank you, you're a godsend. And, um, and just once I needed Krispy Kreme donuts. I had my five in one sitting and I'm okay now. Also, your pH balance changes a lot when you're pregnant. So this is my favorite deodorant right now. It's the crystal, it's pomegranate. It's super easy. If you already put your clothes on, you don't have to worry about that ugly white line. You just spray this stuff and it just keeps everything fresh. A little rose water. Oh, my skin is feeling glowing. Guess what? It's time for makeup. Well, guess what? I forgot something very important. It's called SPF. And um, this is my favorite SPF because it really, it, yes, it shows up white on your fingers, but it doesn't show up white on your face and you still get a very good, gorgeous glow. This is not natural. This is aquaphor and uh, my lips are addicted and I don't care. So I like to start with a little foundation. Look. Look, do you see how little that is? That's all you need. Because you've already prepped your skin. You're literally just putting this on to feel like, you know what, I've got a little something on my face. And I'm not really trying to cover anything up, I'm just trying to make my skin tone even. Which is also why I like to go in under my eyes with a little bit of concealer. And I'm always red around my nose, a little under my eyes, my chin. This little guy popped up this morning, so nice of you. Die. Do you guys make funny faces at yourself too when you're doing your makeup? I'm giving you the glam that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is not red carpet. This is, I'm headed to a meeting. I have, I'm going to my girlfriend's house. I'm going on a date. This is natural, pretty, but a little song song. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to use a lot. Again, I'm not using a lot. You don't need a lot. You just prepped your skin and it looks gorgeous. This has a little bit of a pinky hint to it. Ooh. I mean, the pregnancy glow is there. I can see it. But this is just, we're, we're taking her to another level. Then I like to go in with a little brush and just make sure everything's really rubbed into those creases because she's 31. 32 tomorrow! Ah. And you know, she's got little lines, but they're cute. All right, so then I do a little bronzer. You see how my face is literally changing right before your eyes? Wow, cheekbones, hello. So I have two blushes I love. Love these colors. Take a little flat brush. You know what, I did too much, so I'm gonna use my foundation brush to, bl to blend it in. Now with the brows, I like to use just like a hair gel to keep them up, because it's, it's actually like really strong. So I just kind of go in with the spoolie. 
It's all about the hair gel for the eyebrows. Okay, so now I also like to color in, there's this like amazing, what is this, a color stay? This is the color stay eyeliner, and I don't use it on my eyes, I use it on my mole. I love to color in my moles and make them darker. She's cute. So this was my eyeliner that I used for my moles, and this is my eyebrow pencil that I use for my lips. Ooh. So you just take this a little bit. This is gonna feel weird putting brown around your eyes, or around your lips, but as you can see, it's really not that dark. And it just kind of contours your lips. Do you see the difference? I do. And, mm, I do the rest of my finger. Okay. And I like to put on a crap ton of mascara. There are days where I wear no mascara and I think that I look beautiful. And then the days that I put on mascara, I feel like a queen. I am, I am so wild about my mascara that I don't even let makeup artists do my, my mascara. I demand that I do my own. Some of them are okay with it. Some of them are intimidated because I'm so good at it. So I think that I always look a little bit better with the tan, so I like this gloss from Saint Tropez, and I just use a little bit of, of it, and um, it just makes me feel a little bit more alive and I put it on wherever my skin is showing. It's kind of, I put it over my moisturizer. It's a little bit sticky, but because it has no self tanner in it, it comes off right away in the shower. So it's just to pick up the tan that you already have, whether it's a spray tan or from the sun, and just give you that extra little, mm, that little glow. Just put a little bit here too, wherever you want. So the best pregnancy advice that I have for you is to remember that Everybody's different, every pregnancy is different, and that you are not alone. I have never felt more support than when I announced that I was pregnant and I had so many moms reaching out to me with encouragement, with products, with just like what to do, what not to do. So find pregnant friends, find mommies that have already done it, and you will feel so incredibly supportive you are not alone. And those moments where you feel like you are alone, just remember we're all out here doing this and we need each other. And don't forget to sip your iron. Bye guys! <laughs>